Welcome to this playthrough for City Skylines and we are currently looking at the new Industries DLC that was released in October 2018 if you're watching this in the future and the city's been growing quite nicely in the last part we laid out this ore extraction site maybe I can speed the game up a little bit and we're now moving towards level 3 I don't think I need to push anything here because once this production hits 1500 we will get it we are producing everything for this area which is good we've got a farm area here walnut ranch which is also pushing towards there this just needs people but i think there's still capacity here so i'm just gonna let this area grow this is one of the keys when you build up one of these areas is is don't whack down too much let it grow progressively and steadily and oak timber processing is already at level five we got it to, to level five in the last part so we've got unlocked all the buildings the, the one problem this has got is that we are importing goods so i, th I think what i need to do is get into here and i think we can drop some more plantations what we got here got a sapling fit let's just put that in let's, in fact, let's put a couple in it won't do any harm put this in uh, yeah we can have a field or a greenhouse I think we'll just leave them as fields and that should eventually once the people get moved in that should uh, get this because what you really want to do is over over produce the raw materials because if you're importing it costs money oops and we've now reached Walnut Ranch Walnut Ranch is area bonus efficiency plus 29 percent pollution minus 30 We've now unlocked the clothing factory, the farm maintenance building, a large barn, and a slaughterhouse. So that's pretty good. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about the clothing factory at the moment because, just to show you here, the factory, mega factories are here. The soft paper factory. Um, these actually need oil. That looks, yeah, see the three white dots. That means that it actually needs oil here, which is until we get this area open up here. There's not much we can do about that, but we'll work on that in a minute. I think what we need to do now is get this area grown. See what we've got. Yeah, it looks like we actually really need a flour mill here rather than one of the new buildings get in here. Well, we could put in maintenance building. I think maybe we'll get a f I thought actually a farm maintenance building needs to be up here actually not sure what a farm maintenance building actually does maintenance buildings take care of industrial buildings increasing the utilization and reducing wastage and that improves storage facility okay that's going to be could be useful <laughs> I think this is one one of the keys when when you're playing these types of uh, DLC you, you just got to experiment a little bit I think we'll get that in there and what we want a flour mill new building cat was it a cattle shed or a slaughterhouse I don't whoops a bit of a water shortage here just gonna need to push that out yeah as far as I know I think yeah we got uh, lots of a animal products we're not really using them for anything at the moment and so I think that will just get keep that growing up quite nicely um, got a little bit of demand for for sure yeah the power and yeah, we don't yeah we can come out actually I think what we could do is connect that through that let's just let that hook up and then I can take these power lines out that can make this area look a little bit tidier and it also means we can zone in some high density here like that well so we've now got congratulations pine ore extraction site has reached level three we've now got a rotary kiln we've now got an electronics factory seabed mining and a medium ore mine so that's pretty good and I think if we drop that in there 
question is, do I really want a connection? Road connection between here. I think maybe we can put in B. Come, gonna be a bit of a steep road over. A little bit of steep up and over the railway line, but I think we'll be okay. And I think if we just drop in a little bit of office stuff here. Connection here. That's a bit of a fail. Okay. Pick that in like that. Oh, do want that. That's just that there. And put a little bit of office work on there. And maybe we can expand our commercial out here. Maybe we can run a full blooded commercial over through there. Do I want to connect that? That could create a shortcut through. I think what we will do is that off. And I think we'll. I don't think that's connected through. Sometimes you've got to be a bit careful with the connections. Maybe we'll go tree lined. Nope, that's not. Well, that's a park road. Yeah, that's better. That will give us a connection through here. And I think we can a whole load of that through there just check for supply yeah I should know that the put the grid on that's that connected through there that should take up any surplus growth there and what I do want to do is get in and develop this area here something I definitely need to do so I think we're going to need something like quite a fairly large service roundabout here I think I'm going to go let's say we'll put it about there oh, I don't want it that big if forestry there I don't I think we're just going to bring the main residential area out here. I think if we come to I think we go 180 here. And this would be like a distribution hub. Traffic. And just go into I'm just gonna connect this up like that. We're going to upgrade immediately to a highway. That should be able to do if I go a bit creative here. We've got to get round the corner of this building here, so not building what I'm about tile. It's going to have to round a little bit like that. I think we can go a little bit freestyle over here. It doesn't have to look perfect. I think this is one of the things about when you play City Skylines is I think cities reflect your own character. You know, if you're really OCD and everything's got to be perfect, it's it's fair enough that I mean there's nothing right or wrong about doing something like that. And sometimes you just want to go freestyle. So we've now got the highway in there, it looks... And I th think this is the oil production area, so I'm going to fall back to my normal road here. Of this area here. And I think we'll get the line here. I think it come in a bit like that. Oops, I still want that. 
proper roads. Well, proper one-way roads. Let me see, it's connected. Okay, I think we... That is, looks a bit... Probably because there's a train there. Okay. Push a little bit. Oops, ah, that's it. What about this, guys? That's got to go. And I'm just going to redo this with a straight road. That's a bit better. I think come in like that. Yeah. That explains that a little bit, but not there. Oops, that's back to front, but that doesn't make any difference. We can reverse it. How not to do it? And that's that, that, like that. And I think if we drive actually straight into this area here, that will work. So and that will take us right into the yeah, we're a smack bang in the middle of the oil industry there. And looking at it. If I come off like that, push that up into the area here, that would get us right into the heart of the actual oil extraction zone. And let's get get this up and oops no we need to zone it in first. Nope, doing this wrong. Ah and I think we're going to I think we've covered this entire area here. I don't know how big my oil production area is going to be, but just cover this here. Probably want to, I want to get out on the water eventually. But we'll see how it goes, guys. See how it goes. And to have this building here. I think what I'm going to do is get this to backtrack up. Okay, it's just. I suppose it doesn't have to be perfect. I think we'll just drop this. The oil's running out on that edge, so. And here we are. So we've now got a small oil pump, oil sludge pyrolysis plant, and small crude oil tank farm. I'm just going to connect this through. No water, no power. <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? We're in the middle of there. What we're going to do is come through like that. Drop this down. Uh, an area like that. Come down and the. I think we'll finish this off. And of course we're gonna need power in here. I think for the moment we'll just go a little bit extravagant like that. That will get this in and running. And I think what we will have is our oil production running this actually we'll have production running this way. this noise pollution single pump for extracting oil industry raw material from underground so we get wow that, that's quite small actually isn't it I think maybe we can just chuck a, a couple there just to get us up and running 
and got here. This this turns oil into petroleum. I think we could certainly have something like that. And the other thing we're also going to need is some storage tanks. Uh, crude oil. Wow, that's too big. Okay, let's just put that there. Keep this area fairly tight together. Yeah, that's come through. And I think we actually need a warehouse as well, don't we? Please. Get a warehouse yard. I don't think you'd be able to store curiosity guys put that in there Can store petroleum Not balanced petroleum <laughs> okay it might be a bit dangerous to store petroleum in a warehouse yard but suppose if it works it works and so that gets this up and running now the other thing I want to think about at the moment is my well, you can say my industrial complex is actually up here and got the actually no my industrial complex is here isn't it so we've got this turned off here so what I'm thinking next is I want this area to grow down as a residential area and we've got a bit of residential demand so I think I could absorb the residential demand up here for the moment if we jack the price up. Come in like that and be just come across. I don't want to get too close to the power production, but I think we can just push out a little bit here. I need to check the zoning and just come like that. Just Zoning. Yeah, we need to push this zoning out like that. And we just don't want to come too close to that area there. Absorb this offices and fill this area in. This is a stopgap more than anything else. Just just so that I can concentrate on my industry. So eventually I want to open this area up with residential and commercial and I want to expand this area to support what I'm going is going on here. And I think what we're going to do is just push this back another we can come back about about that far. I'm gonna connect through here. That's connected. And next thing I want is to push the road through like that. I think this road can come through like that, and then that can connect up to there. That would give these people access to this area here. And and I think what I want to do is I'm gonna go single road out here. And I want to do is come out that and it's gonna create a spur like that. So I think that will make this will make sense guys, don't worry. And we got here trains. And we're just gonna put a train station there. And I need a train station here. Got industrial complex here, this is connected in quite nicely. I think I think if we come up here and come up like that, connect through like that, I'm just going to, going to 
get another train station there. And what we're going to do is come off like that, so get underground. So we're going to come right across like this. It's about there. I mean, I'm, when I'm going underground, I don't never worry too much about making it aesthetic. I just go for straight lines because it just makes life a lot easier. And And that means I can now switch this on because we will now get pla once we get producing plastics, this can come up to here. And I mean we're not in the position to produce plastics at the moment, as far as I know, but we can we will get there. And I think that can come into there. So what will happen is, as the city grows, the this will connect through, and goods that need to be shipped up to these areas can will be shipped through quite quickly. I think what I am going to do is just make the road connections here. I'm just going to down again, and I think that can come into there. This road can come up to here. Getting a bit more freestyle now. Because there's no point worrying too much about the way the roads go. This is working quite well here. Oops, put a bit of trash down here. Let's just check the garbage situation. Garbage processing. Uh, I think we probably, I think we could probably get in an incinerator down here. If we tuck it away. So maybe having an incinerator close to uh, an industrial complex probably isn't that good an idea. In fact, I think what we can do is strike this off up here like that. Let's put a, that can feed this area here. Goes without saying that I've got off the edge. That's okay because we come down like that. Eventually, that will drop in. How, how's this area growing? Cherry refining. We're producing put uh, producing petroleum. Probably need some more workers down here. Doing here, four thousand eight hundred units per week. Maybe we need to put a little bit more down. Put some. We were. Well, if this is an extract, this is an extraction area, isn't it? So maybe I shouldn't be bunching these guys up. Maybe I should be spreading out like that. Ah, okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe if I put another one down here. I think. That's there. So if I come out, that's producing 4,800 as well. Let's do this as an experiment just to see. Maybe I need to bring this road out like that. That. that can come back like that. And production yard here. Protection, but this is filling up, so let's just put in. I think we'll just put an ordinary warehouse in. Oh, maybe a bit too 
big. And I think we're some more petroleum there. Push this. That should oops, sorry about that. That should push that area up, get forward a little bit. I think now we can work on this area here. And I'm just gonna well, we were coming like that, and this can come across up fairly close to the highway. I think we'll make this. Oh, that can go that way. I'll make this into a commercial zone. I think. Check the zoning. Yeah, we're just going to expand this out here. As long as we stay this road here as a dividing road. We will just take that back a little bit like that. And Make this in that plus that and okay. So commercial here. So, yeah, we have commercial in area here. Maybe we sort of want that. Oh, no, we can. Sitting like this. Try and get it as next as possible. Like that a little bit. Like this. Bring you through that so you've got one form of connection there. I mean, we can fill this in with uh, footpaths. I think we're just going to get got some commercial over here. So I think if we start zoning here, I think we'll just use the old part dodge. Jump the power over. Yep. <laughs> so immediately puts a park in the middle of the area here. And what we do is just grow, grow this area here. And uh, take the. Gonna put a footpath through here. That. Then you can have a footpath through here like that. I think we can. Have Put the path like that, and sorry guys, but these need to be justified. And we have to get some transport in this area as well, so we have to definitely have to get a met extend the metro line down. So let's just and I think come in like that. Sorry about the rock. Come in like that. Come across like that. Come across like that. Come in like that. Uh, I suppose we don't have to get every little area up and running. Oops. Just gonna connect this through. Maybe we'll just bring you down to like that. Because we've got to connect these. This. 
again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I think what we can do now is start to fill in this area here. Let, the, let it grow out this way. And I think this road can get the back on, get back to gridded. That can just connect through like that. So it looks like we're getting a little bit of uh, growth with the railway. That's what I need to do now is to get in public transports. So we've got problems here. And I suppose I better go over or not. As well, get it over and done with. So that just makes sure everything runs this way. And, well, I certainly would like. That's the division. So, we put a. Put a metro station there and uh, say another one there, and then bring this. You can use this side of the highway like that. And you may want to come out here, but I, I don't think I need to go much further than that. So let's come in here, connect these up like this. Connect through to there. I'm gonna hook this line. I'm gonna drag it all the way through to here. That's you're done. You're done. You're done. Oh, we better make sure that's connected. Well. One's going to get upset here. That should give us a strong... How come you've got water problems? Okay. Ah. I should have zoned all this way there properly in the first place, shouldn't I? I've done. So we need to look at, from a fire perspective, I think we, we put that there. That should pull the power over. And we'll probably need some police. Maybe you need a bit of a road connection there. I'll put the police station there. So, right, you've got a pool of power. And I think what we'll do is just get this area up and running. Put a health clinic in there. You're going to need a crematorium. Crematorium there. I think we'll be a bit more. Congratulations! We've now the refining site has now reached level two. So we've now got petroleum, petrochemical plant, small oil drilling rig, household plastic factory. Oil industry workers barracks and crude oil storage cavern. Okay. Right, let's just get this in. Yeah, that should connect that through. That that's connected. Right soon. So we can now get our plastics production up and running. And okay, production. That's what I want. And the this is here. Can't don't you just see this. All a little bit messy. I should have thought about this a bit more. That's the oil industry main building. It's gonna pause because I've got a feeling I'm just about to break the power lines. I th think we're going to I think we're going to push this area out a little bit more this way. 
that. A lot of stone there. And getting to do is get not that big. Right, that's going to turn oil into plastics so that they got the highway there. And so I think that will work. What else did we unlock? Got crude storage or storage that crude oil storage cavern. Maybe we will get there. So we'll just use that to fill this area up. I mean we're going to need to balance the area over time and get some maybe we could get the uh, this judge this road here. Lesson learned these buildings don't fit very well. Maybe we can drop that in there. That will get this area to grow up a little bit. House production here. Probably don't need these bits here. Take off these. And it means we can. I think I can. What I could do is. Parallel road here, like that. Okay, done this before. Okay, okay, we'll just do it this way. It's a bit messy, but it will do, guys. It will, it will work. It will work. This area here needs some form of recreation. I think what we could do is that in there. That will increase the value of the area here. That will connect through there because this is a portal in gymnasium. I think that will work quite well. And that gets this area up and running. Residential still needs to grow. And I think we can back this here like this. Probably not the best way to do things, but let's take the stick that off. Maybe we'll just grow this through here like that. Grow up a little bit like that. Right guys, I've just noticed that I've gone a little bit over the time for this video. So this is where I'm gonna leave it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it interesting. In the next part, I think now we've got our oil production area up and working, I think what we're going to do is focus on these, the specialist factories now, and get some of these up and running. And we'll probably make this into an industrial complex here. In fact, just to wind this off, if I can find the factory. Yep, so we, we're now producing a stuff printed products. So. I probably do need to do is actually put a warehouse in here that can take the specialist products actually. Uh, great. Uh, sorry, rocks, you've got to go. And um, what we can get in here. And unique factory products, I think that's what this is what we need here. But this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.